Hey gamers, what's up? Um, I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you something that I just got. Very cool and very happy with. This is a, a, a Mattel Aquarius. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a shot at seeing it. A lot of you won't recognize it. A lot of you won't know what it is. And that's why I'm doing a video about it. Uh, this is probably one of the least popular and biggest failures as far as the uh, home computers of the 80s went. And I'm gonna show it to you. It was only in production from, I believe, June to October of 1983, just over four months. And it's estimated, I, I looked around, I tried to find solid numbers, that between maybe 10 and 20,000 of them were, were sold total. So it's uh, something you're not gonna see very often and you're not gonna see very much of. And I thought it would be neat to give you an up close on it. So. Here it is. Yeah, good look at it. Now, um, if we're saying twenty thousand of these were so total, we need to consider, you know, like how much of a failure is that um, comparatively to the other consoles that have been failures. And I'll name consoles you do know of. The 3DO sold two million consoles. <laughs> the uh, the Virtual Boy sold 770,000 and the 32X sold 665,000. So like comparatively speaking, those were all much more successful systems than the Aquarius, which is something else, right? <laughs> uh, the reason, the main reason I think it failed was the technology. The system was way behind on the times, even for a computer of the, uh, the 80s. Um, and it was, uh, it's, um, rumored that internally the Mattel programmers dubbed it the system of the 70s. There were only 21 games released for it and of those uh, most of them were in television ports which wouldn't be so bad but uh, they all played better on the Intellivision because this system was so uh, behind the times. And here we go. It is, it's in its plastic. I mean this is a really good system or good condition system. I'll pull it out for you guys to see. Limited 90 day warranty. I believe that is no longer valid. Here's your guide to home computing. There's the system itself. This thing's immaculate. See, the thing about this system was it, that, like, the consumer thought it was cheaper than like other systems of the time, like the TI-99, the VIC-20, and all those, which you you have heard of. Um, but the problem was you had to buy all the add-ons for this separately. As you can see, there's there's really nothing to it but the keyboard. Um, so there was like a data recorder, the mini expander, mini expander peripheral, which was a uh, thing that actually played the the cartridges for it and uh, you know you had to buy RAM upgrades for it so it just it wasn't going to be a popular system because once you paid for all those things it became more expensive than the other home computers out there even though this launched at I believe $160 So there it is, the Mattel Aquarius, which was in production for four months, a massive failure, and uh, shortly after this, I forget the name of the company that was producing it, it was the same company that built the Intellivision for Mattel, and uh, right after this, Mattel sold the rights to the system and the Aquarius too which uh, I don't even know if it got an American release or not, the Aquarius too, but there you go. The home computer with the shortest lifespan, the Mattel Aquarius. So enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day.